you know, if you think about a bow and arrow, it's 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 made it's made for long range. You know? And then they had those they had those retractable bows with like, you know what I'm saying, with like arrows the size of that, that sign right there. You know what I'm saying? That they that they you know, it take three men to, to work it. You know what I'm saying? But the, the modern the modern bow is the, is the, the missile, man. The modern day sword is the gun. You know? The modern that's the modern day sword. You know, so when so like when sometimes in the scriptures when you read about a uh, sword or, or, or a bow and arrow and it's and it's talking about prophecy, it's talking about nuclear missiles and guns. You know, because he didn't have no other way to describe it because the gun hadn't been invented yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and the uh, nuclear, the, the missile hadn't been invented yet, so his best way to describe it was a sword, you know, a, a killing issue, you know, something that he was used to, you know, something that, something that he was familiar with, you know. With that, with that uh, uh, CERN thing, man. Hey, man. Hey, they gonna they gonna fire it up, man. But you know, Lord willing, man, something happened. Lord willing, something great happened, man. You know, to speed up the process of us getting out of here, man. I'm tired of this place, man. Yeah. I'm tired of America. Every day is a struggle in America, man. Every day, man. You got dude, this earth is so messed up. You got a few. You got a few. You got one family of people that can hit poverty. They sit on their riches, man. And ain't nobody gonna go up in there and take nothing from them, man. Right. You know, they, hey, they, hey, you got one, you got one family, man, this is how messed up this place is. You got one family running basically the whole world, man. The Rothschilds family, man, the, the elites, the Rothschilds, the, the banking family. You know they running, they put basically running the whole. Don't nothing, don't nothing happen in the earth major unless they, unless they gotta say so. Yeah, man. You know what? And they, and they, they, they eat, man. This, that's why I told you this white man. He don't have no love, man. It's, and he don't have no feelings, man. So eventually, man, the Lord will take that spirit and put it on us, man. That spirit of that spirit of being cold, man. You know, hey, you gonna be, a, hey, you got to be a cold brother, man. You know what I'm saying? Take a little baby and bash his head open on the street, man. Hey, you gonna have to be cold. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I can do that right now, man. The Lord gonna have to put a, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord gonna have to put it a spirit on us, or we just gonna be out here just. They gonna have to have. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, they did it to us. Like, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say you reap what? Huh? Yeah, white babies. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> like, he thought about that. Like, yeah. yeah. I wonder how that would feel. Right. <laughs> seeing them ankles go limp. Right. <laughs> no, no. He said, um, yeah, go he, said he had also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained the arrows against the, the persecutors. Yeah, the instruments of death. That's all about the nuclear, nuclear missile. All right, behold, all right, uh, behold, he travaileth with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehoods. And that's one of the falsehoods right there, that, that image that he put up. All right. He made a... He made a pit and dig it and is falling into the ditch which he made. Mm -hmm. See, see, that, that's, that, that, that invention gonna turn around and it's gonna, hey, hey, yeah, it's gonna, hey, it's gonna get at him, man. Yeah. Cause you know what, now every country got nukes, man. Right. Hey, these countries ain't scared of America no more, right. man. Mm -hmm. Every country got nukes, man. Even Cuba, a, a small island, they got nukes. You know what I'm saying? So America is, uh, America is not big shit, man. And you know what, all of these countries, Hate America, man. They hate it. They hate everything we stand for in this country. Well, Esau stands for, man. You know, and that hatred is gonna keep on building. And eventually, 
World War Three gonna break out, and that, hey, hey, they're gonna, they're gonna, hey, Esau is gonna, gonna really show his horns, man. This white man, hey, he's, hey, hey, you're gonna be seeing people getting lined up and executed in the streets, man. Right. And like the brother said, they, hey, hey, man, I was thinking about that the other day. They might be riding around on pick, pickup trucks with guillotines on the back of them, right. chopping people's heads off, doing public executions, man. Hmm. It's gonna get vicious out here, man. That's right, brother. It's gonna get vicious. Just like they show you in the movie uh, Purge. Yeah, man. They it's... had dude right in the back of that uh, With truck. the Gatling gun. The Gatling gun. <laughs> All right, yeah, because he said that, because at the end they said the numbers had failed <laughs> on, on the killings. So they wanted to keep the ratings up. <laughs> so they actually put their own people out there to, to, to get the rating, the killing rate back up, man. Hey, that's what, hey, hey you know what, and that, that movie, that movie made hella sales, man, yeah, because bro. people, People actually want to do that. Man. Yeah, they can. Yeah. People actually want to. Hey, people actually want. Hey, they have a they have a population control agenda going on right now as we speak in America. And, and you know what? They've always had it. They've always had it. You know what's called farms. Hey, I was watching a um, documentary on RT News today, and 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 the, this doctor, this this scientist, and this, this he's a uh, ph pharmaceutical uh, doctor. He said the third leading cause of death in America is, the pharma is pharmaceutical drugs, man. Medication. <laughs> but hey, hey, this, hey, this, this guy got, man, I got us thinking that he really trying to heal us, man. Some people, man, people go and take medication. Man, man, bro, you're not supposed to be taking medication for the rest of your fucking life, man. That's bullshit, man. That's, that's garbage, man. You know, and, and you gotta think about it, man. Every, every, uh, 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 every uh, molecule and cell in your body is is comes from the earth, man. You gotta think about it, man. Your body, what what happens to your body when it decomposes? It turns into soil, man. So that lets you know, man, that that any sickness is a deficiency of something, a certain vitamin that you don't have enough of. That's, or, 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 or you know what I'm saying. You know, the right, the, the, the not having the right pH balance in your body, which the human body is supposed to be about eight, eight p, uh, eight uh, pH, you know, about eight. About eight. You know, that causes sickness. Uh, eating too much bread, gluten, lying in the colon, causes sickness. Margarine, too fucking much. plastic. Man, that's that's plastic, man. What happens to plastic, melted plastic, after you just let it sit? It, it hardens. Too much acidity. Ac acidity. As acidity, yeah, man. So anything, any sickness is is, is a is a uh, any sickness in the human body can be healed through herbal medication. It's a lack of something. But when you start putting fucking chemicals in your body that, that that the body is not meant to consume, you destroy you start destroying the body even further, man. You know, oh, man, bro. Hey, man. I, 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 I look back on when, like, when we came back from the war and shit. You know what I'm saying? They was giving all these fucking antidepressants. Like, you tell them, like, look, all I need is some sleep medication. And they'd be like, well, yeah, this is, this pill will help you go to sleep, but it's got an antidepressant too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not depressed. I just don't get enough sleep. Yeah, but this this will help you. You, you know, and then that medication will make you feel sick as hell, man. I take a medication from them because you know I was I was naive and I thought they was really trying to help me, man. And that shit made me feel sick, man. You wake up, you know, you asleep like a motherfucker. Don't get me wrong, but you wake up, you wake up feeling sick, man. All sluggish and shit. You know, you wake up still fucking tired, man. You know, you were, hey, man, because I, I was naive. I thought they was really trying, to, but really they was they was they was testing out the medication. People was getting all kind of polyps on their brains. You know, high ocular pressure. You know, high blood pressure. People was committing. The number one, the number one side effect of any depressant is suicidal tendency. You trying to, you trying not to fucking kill yourself, man. You, you talking about I'm depressed. I won't kill myself. They gonna be like, okay, well, we'll give you this antidepressant. But be real careful because the first three weeks you take it, it's gonna make you want to kill yourself. What's the fucking solution? 
You know? I mean, like, and, and people, people, dumb people take it. Yeah. And they ain't even write it on the bottle. You may experience suicidal thoughts. Like, you know, I seen that shit. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't taking that. And that's how you know that that uh that medicine is witchcraft, right? Shit is different because the word pharmacy goes back to the word uh, uh pharmakita. Pharmakia, yeah. All right. Which is basically witchcraft, man. All right. Which which that word goes back to witchcraft. That's why uh, you look right there in Walgreens. We got the we got the pot at the top of it. Here. Uh, stick with yeah. the stars in it. Oh, the witch's group. group. With the witch's group. You know, then it got the, 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 the uh, what's the name of that? The uh, caduceus. With the, uh, the uh, caduceus with, 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 the, with the stick and the, and the snake. Yeah. You see in the ambulance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that shit goes back to witchcraft. And that's why you be wanting to kill yourself. Because that, that medicine and shit is nothing but witchcraft. It put demons on you. It's like you yeah. hearing them voices and shit, you know, yeah. and, and, they, and they commit suicide because it's witchcraft, man. And, and you know, that's all it is. It was a high suicide rate of veterans when they came home because they started, they took that medication, believing that that medication was going to heal them, and they and, and they, it ended up, they ended up killing themselves, man. And then, then America going to try to act like they so sad. Oh, the suicide rate is high among veterans, and you know. That's because you yeah, fucking giving them medication that make them commit suicide. Church. You know? But hey, you know, I, I guess it's, yeah, uh, yeah. it's like you got you got a question, you can come up. And ask the speaker. Ask him, shall we? <laughs> you come up and ask the speaker, that, that's the speaker right there. Oh, okay. All right, I'm up. Uh, verse 16, he said, And mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own plate. I will praise the, the power, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praises unto his name, the, uh, unto his name of the Lord most high. Right, because all, all of this stuff that he's concocted, man, is going to return back to him, man. You know, he's, 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 He's meditating, he's killing our people by droves, which that's going to come back to him. He's, he's going to be killed and, and, and by droves. And at the end of that, he's going to come go on his life. Okay? Go ahead. Yes, I'm... I got something. Hey, because you know what? Hey, hey, man, the Lord is a just power, man. You know, you don't send, you know, he, 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 he hey, the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying, what, what, whatsoever, whatsoever thou saw, that should he also reap. Hey, the Lord is the Lord is all about all about uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, balance. Yeah, balance, man. The Lord is about balance, man. Justice. Yep, justice. That's another good word, man. That's what the Lord is about, man. Ain't no way, man. You did this to these people, to to His people, man, and then expect to get away with it, man. You know, hey, that was only for a point in time, like right around. Like somewhere around two thousand years, man. All right. You know. Go, go ahead. You got it. Revelations thirteen nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Mm -hmm. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity gonna go into captivity. Well, what happened to us, man? The black. All these people, man, was pretty much led into captivity. Women raped. Men murdered. You know, land taken away. So the scriptures say, "He that leadeth into captivity shall shall go." So the word "shall" that's a that's a future reference, man. That's uh that's future tense, man. It says you're going. Shall is like you're going to go into captivity. Speaking in the future, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a commandment almost too. It hasn't happened yet, though. That's showing you it hasn't happened yet because you know what. We haven't put the people in slavery that enslaved us. Mm -hmm. You know that scripture that I'm thinking about? And it's in numbers. No, go ahead, read, bro. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. What did it say? Must be killed with the sword, man. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the what? Here is the 
patience and the faith of the saints. Hey, that's the faith of the saints, man. Hey, they, you'll never hear them say that in church, man. Hey, they'll never, they'll never pull this scripture out in church. That, that scripture that says we waiting, we waiting for our people to get to 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 uh, we waiting for the people that put us in captivity to be put to death, man. Hey, you'll never, hey man, hey, I, hey, my, my father's a pastor. I went to church for 25 years every week, man. Not only on Sunday, man. We went to YPWW. You know what I'm saying? All that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Praise and worship service. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, prayer, prayer service. Monday night prayer service. You know, uh, uh, Tuesday night YPWW. You know what I'm saying? Thursday night service. You know, hey man. But I never heard that scripture. Never. For 25, man, 25 years is more than enough time to read the, this book, man. Right now. And, right. Hey, bro. There's a bunch of scriptures. You mean, you'll never hear in that, man. Like Leviticus 2013, man. You'll never hear that scripture to tell you you're supposed to put a homosexual to death. You'll never hear that scripture being read in the church, man. The adultery scripture to tell you you're supposed to put a woman commit adultery on her husband, she's supposed to be put to death, man. All scripture is given for divine interpretation. Yeah, man. Inspiration, reproof, rebuke. Right. You know, correction and doctrine, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, first time. You You got something? Oh, you This is on. This is Isaiah 14, verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Who is Jacob, man? Yes. The 12 tribes of Israel, man, come out of Jacob, which is the people on this sign, the blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Which the prophecies in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down match, match up to these people, man. Those people over there in Israel, they never went into slavery with a yoke of iron on their neck, man. That didn't happen to them. That happened to us. Okay? Hey, they don't go, they don't go to the enemy and want need of all things, man. We do. That's a good chapter to read. Deuteronomy 28, starting at verse. Man, man it's good to read the whole chapter, man, mm -hmm. to be honest. Hey, hey, they didn't go into slavery in ships, like it's saying in the last verse, man. Right. They didn't go on this captivity in those slave ships, man. That happened to us, man. Let you know that all of that, all of that, that, that garbage over there going on in Israel, man, is a lie, man. Clearly they're not people of peace. They've been at war ever since I've known it was in Israel. They've been at war with Gaza for years. It says, uh, and will yet choose Israel and well, set them in, in their own land. And set them in their land. Hey, 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 wait a minute. If the people, if the, if the Jews are already in Israel, what is he talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about, set them in their land? I thought they were already in their land. What, are you going to take you out of Israel and put you back? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That lets you know that the people that's over there in Israel are not the people. They're not the people. Hmm? We, are. we are, man. We are, man. Because all those things happen to us, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 15 all the way down. They can't be matched to no other people but these people, man. You know? Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, And the stranger shall be joined with him, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them, and bring them in their place, and they and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Hey, we're gonna possess them for servants and handmaids. The scriptures say it plain as day. We're gonna, we're gonna take them captives, whose captives we were. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's that's a just balance for your ass right there. Right. And then they're gonna be they're gonna be servants and handmaids. Right there in the scriptures, man. You know? Is this, hey, skip down. Hey, 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 you know, and what if they say, 
What did they say? That was not me. That was my forefathers. You know, you know what's good. That wasn't me. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> Go ahead, read that. Verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare okay. slaughter for his children. For what? For the iniquities of their fathers. Yeah, you're going to pay for what your forefathers did. <laughs> so it ain't no getting away. It ain't no, oh, I wasn't even alive back in slavery. You're going to pay for what, what your forefathers did. Because you still benefit off of it. Yeah. Hey, hey, the Lord judges nations. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when we went into captivity, wasn't all of us wicked. It wasn't all of us wicked, man. But the Lord didn't spare, spare a ride, man. All of us got it, you know? And all of them gonna get it, man. You got some more? It says that they do not rise and possess the land, nor fill their faces of the world with cities. Hey, they not gonna rise up, man. They not gonna. You not gonna. You not gonna build another America, man. Right. This, this is your kingdom, man. This is the white man's kingdom. Jacob and Esau, man. When 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 uh um, when when Esau inherited his blessing, he said that what that that, that land should be the uh the, the doer fatness. You know what I'm saying of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and then it said we was going to break, uh, uh, what it say, that Israel was, Jacob was going to break his chain from off his neck, and, uh, uh, and we, they was going to become servants under us, man. You know, hey, that, that was, that was, that was our, that was Esau's blessing. His cursing, really. Because, you know, you won't hear that, hey, well, you, he in his kingdom now. That's what happened. See, see, uh, Somebody go to the uh, 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 Jacob and Esau, uh, Genesis what, 25. Jacob blessing Esau blessing. Yeah, the blessings, yeah. 27. Yeah, 27. I kind of wanted to go into all of it, but, you know. I think this movie that's supposed to call Heaven is Real. Heaven is for real. It's like a low budget movie. But it's based on a true story. And then it was like a little white boy. He died. He ain't died. He had surgery in summer. He said he went to heaven and he seen God, Jesus. Yeah. How, how you see, you see all that. They wouldn't believe me, but they said it's true. Did he say they, oh, you, did he say they were black? That's what pissed me off. No, I think I said. Hey, that. no, that, that actually happened. A little boy did die, like recently, and he came back and told us he was, he was from a racist family. His, his family was part of it. Yeah, they was part. They was clan members, and he came back and told his father after he died and came back, and they res resuscitated him. He came back and told him, told his father that. That, that God and the angels was niggas. <laughs> he said he, he said they was niggas, bro. That's what that's what. And his father look whooped his up. ass, bro. Look at it as a real article, man. It's his father whooped article. his ass when he told him. You know what I'm saying? His father like you know got like, hey, the Lord ain't. No, my, my Lord ain't no <laughs> nigga. Nigga die again. Look like nigga die again. Yeah, man. But his father told him. Yeah, yeah, they told, he told he, he told his father that that up in heaven. Uh, uh, crackers, they had crackers playing fucking sports and shit, and we was just sitting back being entertained, man. <laughs> like they got us doing. See, we in captivity now, man. They, hey, they, 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 they enjoy us, man. Playing basketball, running our ass off, playing football, knocking the hell out of each other, boxing. They enjoy all that, man. They sit back, they spend their little money, they get, they, they get their little, uh, uh, that little cue over the basketball court. Yeah. Where they do the cocaine and have prostitutes. You know, hey man, they, hey, hey, they enjoying their little kingdom, man, but the kingdom that's gonna rise up, our kingdom, is, is gonna make this kingdom look like a toilet, man. Somebody gonna rape us. Remember they used to wrestle? And they tell you, like, keep wrestling, niggas. You know, kill us to the death. Yeah. They did. They showed us in that movie. On um, what was it? Um, was it the Django or was it? Uh, oh yeah, Django. It was Django. Yeah, Django. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was the Django. You know, you know they showed them, you know, fighting. Niggas Django was fighting. Yeah, uh, yeah. man, Dingo. They used to <laughs> fight them. They used to fight them. She probably ride back, going right back around. Yeah. Scream some like, obscenities. Scream some obscenities out the window. Yeah, but they use they they use they use us for the they use us for entertainment, man. Yeah, man. Yep, they so. do, man.
and and that's why that's why you got and, and that's why that's why they keep a lot of this at bay, man, because they they paid the ones that's entertaining. They get paid a, 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 a lot of money, man, to entertain the uh, to uh, to entertain the East Side. Mm -hmm. okay? And you know what? They pay them that money to make niggas feel like they can make it in America. Yeah, come on, come on. You know. But hey, you said it last. You said I think they, I think you said it like two weeks ago that the Lord was gonna start killing a lot of these uh, entertainers, man. Um, Moses Malone just died this morning, man. And he was like the first. I think he was the first uh, NBA player that went from high school straight to the NBA. I think this. I think matter of fact, I think he like the sixth one of a, uh, elite old players, man, that, that died, man, congested heart failure, man. You know. So the Lord is the Lord is definitely dealing, man. Hey, that's a scary thing, man. The Lord can kill your ass wherever you at. Hey, was only 60, man. Maybe down the highway. Boom, boom, boom. And still have a wreck and shit. Oh, he was Take out some more people. You he said was, what? He was 60. Dang, shit. And you can be on a plane going to Florida, man, and the, yeah. and the, and the, and the pilot have an aneurysm blow up in his, in his brain, bro. Hey, man. Or, or the engine just seize up, man. That's why it's important to serve the Lord, man, because, man, the Lord, man, hey, man, it's, hey, it's a fearful thing, man, to fall into the hands of the living power, man, like right. the scriptures say, right. man. It's, hey, man, that's why it's better to be on this side, man. You know, I mean, that's just real talk, man. It's better to be a servant of the Lord than be a fucking enemy, man. You know, because <laughs> you ain't going to win being that. That's why I don't understand the devil. He's dumb as hell. Well, actually, actually, Satan works. Oh, well, you know, well, really, really, this, really, the devil is the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a race of devils. But the spiritual entity, Satan, actually works for the Lord on the left-hand side. You see, it's a, the, the right-hand side was where the word righteousness comes from. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a, that's a. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how people say, don't get on my bad side, but stay on my good side? It's actually like that in the kingdom of heaven. There's, 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 there's demons that that uh, uh, that the Lord sent to bless you, and there's demons that the Lord sent to curse you. But even Satan himself works for the Most High. I showed you that when Job, when, when, when Satan was asking to uh, come against Job, remember Job? Job, uh, Satan was like, yeah, I bet you if I took away everything from this nigga, I bet you he'd have turned his back on me. You know what I'm saying? And what did the Lord tell him? The Lord gave him an order, which was, was let you know that, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord controls that, controls Satan. He told him, do what you will, but don't take his life. You know what I'm saying? And Satan was obedient. You know what I'm saying? He jacked him up, but he didn't kill him. You know? Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord controls it, man. That's why, that's why, you know, because, because you know, in, in, in the church, in the church world, they make it like Satan is just some, some rogue running around doing what the fuck he want to do. Hey, I'm going to knock over this cat and flip this car over. You know, Satan... Satan get get orders from the Lord. Uh, um, um, hey, somebody get uh, Psalm seventy eight and forty nine. Yeah, cause uh, you you cause Satan is a is an angel, right? That works for the Lord. I got a scripture. Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is uh Second Chronicles eighteen and eighteen, and he said, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven. Standing on his right hand and on his left, all right. And the ones that's on the left hand, you know, they do the dirty work, like people die or whatever. You know, car crash come. Those are the angels on the left hand side. That's from, off, man. Right. And then you got, and then you got, uh, you got the angels that's that's on the right hand. You know. And you read it over. Hey, that's why you have a shot sit on the right hand of, of the Lord. Like whenever, whenever, whenever somebody righteous. Uh, leaves this world and go into the spirit world. They sit on the right hand. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's spiritual. When people say that, that's a spiritual thing. That's like 
that's like the, that's like your your spirit. You know, people. Yeah, he's been here before. You know. Go ahead. And I saw the Lord sitting upon His throne, all the hosts of heaven standing on His right hand and on His left. You got angels that sit on the left hand side, angels that sit on the right hand side. I'll show you the Lord control. You done with that? I'm about to grab some else real quick. Okay. One second. This is Psalms. Uh, I'll wait till that train go past. 78. This is Psalms 78 and 49. And he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble. By what? By sending evil angels among them. There you go. Because you got right to say you got evil angels. But all of them work for the Lord, you know? Yeah, man. Hey, the Lord is sending an evil angel, man. Just like he did. Who was that? No. Uh, the prophet. Uh, oh, yeah, prophet. yeah. No, that was, that was, that was, that was so, who was that that grew the fangs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so rather, if it's some good that's happening upon the earth, whether it's good or it's bad, it's all through the hands of the Lord, you know? The Lord controls both sides. According to the book Isaiah, he just, he created darkness, he created light, he made peace, he made evil. I'm the Lord, I does those things, you know, that's in the scriptures. Cause, cause, uh, cause um, somebody would be like, but, but, but the devil did, the devil can't do nothing without somebody get Psalm 68 you know? Whatever the Lord say do, that's what Satan will go carry out, or, or either, whatever angel he got out there, you know, cause just say evil angels with the S. So it's just not one angel, uh, Satan, it's actually multiple angels that uh, carry out a, 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 a destruction. And also when you go to the Apocrypha, it says uh, there are spirit, spirits created for vengeance, which is what? Those death angels that lay on sore strokes. Somebody right? get that? The spirits created for vengeance? Well, uh, I'm getting it. You know, the foods of Elgin. Huh? Well, yeah, the so-called white man. That's the devil. Because what you, uh, people better realize, you got a, a physical counterpart, uh, and you got a physical and a spiritual counterpart of, of, of Satan, right? Like you tell you, hey, get John 3 and 10 real quick. First John 3 and 10 we brought out earlier. Is it first John? Yeah. First John 3 and 10. You already know the, the Israelites, they're, they're the righteous, but you got somebody that's on the earth, a certain people that's that's being, that, that that's meant to play the wicked. Like when you look upon the earth, who's, who's playing a part of the wicked? White man. Yeah. So-called white man. He's he's poisoning the water. He's putting fluoride in the water. He's poisoning the air. You know, he's he's bombing all the countries. You know, he, he's doing all all kind of stuff behind the scenes that people don't even know about it that he's doing right now. You know, somebody get Matthew's thirteen thirty-seven. You got that? First John three and ten. Come. Go ahead. First John three and ten. And this, the children of the power, are manifest. Come. And this, the children of God. Are manifest. Right. The children of God is manifest, which we know the children of God is the Israelites. And what? And the children of the devil, whosoever doeth right. not. And the children of